Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take another variety of problem on the topic correlation. So we have already seen two examples on it. In this learning video, we are going to take a problem where we would be using a method of assume means to find out the coefficient of correlation for the given data. So let us start with given number of data yes the number of given data the number of given data that is n is equal to how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have seven data now let us find out the mean values so x bar is equal to summation x by n so when you sum up all these values 122 plus 135, 143, 103, 156, 178 plus 190 divided by 7. So you would be getting 146.71. And likewise you can find out y bar mean value of y that is summation y by n. And this comes out to be 69.85. So as you can see, the mean values of x and y are in fractions. They are not integers. Okay. So method of assume means would be applicable. So here you can write one sentence as x bar and y bar are not integers are not integers we use we use method of assume means we use method of assume means okay so let us take the value of x round off to a number so 146.71 so we can round it to 147 and value of y bar is 69.85 so this would be rounded to 70 okay and then we will write capital X that is x minus x bar which is x minus 147 and capital Y is Y minus Y bar that is Y minus 7. Okay. So we have got the values of X and Y. Now which formula we going to apply here to find out the coefficient of correlation. We have already written that we use method of assume means. So in method of assume means we will make use of the formula R is equal to summation n times summation x y minus summation x into summation y upon under root of n summation x square minus summation x whole square and likewise for y also into n summation y square minus summation y whole square. Okay. So we have to find out all these values of summation and for this we gonna make what we are going to make tabular calculation. Let us do the tabular calculation first. Then we will substitute those values of summation in this. And we will get the coefficient of correlation. Okay. So what is the tabular calculations? Yes. It comprises of columns. have the values of x. So what are the values of x and what are the values of y? Oh sorry. So here x then y. So 
given capital X, that is X minus 147. Then there would be a column of capital Y, that is Y minus 70. Then there would be a column of X square, its summation, Y square, its summation, and then X into Y. Is it? So let us do all these calculations. So what are the values of x? 1, double 2, 40, okay, 46. Then we have 135. This is 78. Then 143, 89. Then we have 103, 46. And 156, 82. Then 178, 52, and at last we have the value 190, 96. So these are the values of x and y. Now let us do the calculations. So we'll do it a bit faster now. So what is x 122 minus 147 that's minus 25 135 minus 147 is minus 12 143 147 minus 4 103 147 minus 44 156 minus 147 that's 9 then 178 minus 147 that's 31 190 minus 147 that's 43 so these are the values of capital X. Likewise, you can find out the values of capital Y. That is 46 minus 70 is minus 24. Then this is 8. Then this is 89 minus 17. That's 19. 46 minus 17. That's minus 24. 82 minus 70 is 70, 82, 12. Then 52 minus 70, that's minus 80. And at last 96 minus 70, that's minus, that's plus 26. Okay? So I want you to find out summation x is equal to and summation y is equal to. In the meantime, I am doing these calculations. Okay? So 25 square 625, 12 square 144. 4 square 16, 44 square is 1936, then 9 square is 81, 31 square is 961, 43 square is 1849. Find out summation x square is equal. Okay, now let's do the calculations for this. Summation y square. So y square is 576, 24 square, 8 square, 64, 19 square, 361, again 24, this is 576, 12 square, 144, then 18, 18 is 324, and then 26, 676, okay, now do x into y, so 25 into 24, that's 600, then 12 into 8, that's Minus 96, this is minus 12 into 8. Now 19 fours are 76 with negative sign of course. Then minus into minus plus 44 into 24. 4 fours are 16, 102, 1056 it is. Then x into y, 12 nines are 108. Then 31 into minus 18, 8 ones are 8. And then this 53, 55, 558 with negative sign. This plus into plus is plus. 4 threes are, sorry, 3 six are 18. And this is, okay, triple 1. So this is summation y square is equal to and this is summation x y is equal to. Now I want you to find out these sum values. So Pause the video for a few seconds, do these calculations and resume the video. So I hope you might have done these calculations. What is summation x? Minus 2. Summation y? Yes, minus 17. Very good. Summation x square? 
समेशन एक्स स्क्वायर इज फाइव सिक्स वन टू ओके समेशन वाई स्क्वायर वॉट इज इट टू सेवन वन टू एंड समेशन एक्स वाई इज टू वन फाइव टू वेरी गुड ओके नाउ आफ्टर दीज कैलकुलेशंस टेबुलर कैलकुलेशंस वी गोन मेक यूज ऑफ द फॉर्मूला एंड फाइंड आउट दी कोफिशियंट ऑफ को coefficient of correlation r is equal to do you remember the formula n summation xy minus summation x into summation y upon under root of n summation x whole square sorry summation x square minus summation x whole square into so n summation y square minus summation of y whole square okay now you have all these values substitute these values over here and try to find out the value so r comes out to be so i am leaving it for you so you can find out the value of r and you can write on the comment section whatever values you are getting as the value of r okay so the topic of correlations we have taken and three different examples we have taken under this topic in the very next class we are going to start with a new topic till then happy learning and thank you for watching Thank you.